All right, here we have at No Reserve our uh, two owner. It's a single family, father and son, uh, 93 Ford F-150. It's got 83,000 original miles. I'll walk along. It's really nice two-tone, all original paint and body. I'll walk along here nice and slow. I'll go around the whole truck and then, um, you know, it's about as clean as you can find any, uh, any truck of this age. I mean, especially a 23-year-old truck. Uh, but it's not perfect. I mean, it's about as perfect as you can get, but it was used and enjoyed for all them years. Um, so I'll get in and show any tiny imperfections. There's absolutely no rust. Always been in Washington. Uh, no accidents. Clean Carfax. Auto check, whichever one you prefer to use. So we'll start off here in the front. Um, you know, you have your typical little stone chips along the front. You know, they're really small on the valance. Um, but they do go across, expand over the side there. There's a little bit of condensation going on in here. That's because that plastic, if you're familiar with these trucks, there's that plastic piece that goes around the light bulb wasn't on there tight. So over time it will clear out or you can uh, clear it out with a blow dryer. I had a bug guard on it since it was new. So you really have pretty much, I'll go nice and slow, no stone chips. You got just a couple tiny ones. I did take the bug guard off if you want it, uh, please let me know, but I just can't stand bug guards because they tend to usually rub on the side here um, or rub on the top and do more damage, so I take them off because I think they look funny. It uh, looks like there might have been some tree sap. I mean this truck is undetailed, we don't go through and steam clean anything, this is pretty much its natural state how we got it. I did a couple coats of wax, really nice. This is the only area in the whole truck where it's had any of this paint lifting issues and it's real common to get it because the wind will will kind of blow back and forth here and these uh, decade era of trucks had issues so it does spread across but it is not on the top ridge or sides or anything. It's amazingly still got its original front glass and it's really nice shiny paint. You got a little chip right there. A couple surface scuffs but they should, those could buff out if you really want to get after them. A couple little chips there. A little scratch. A little chip. Uh, it just has those, those scuffs, you know, that are really hard to see, but they're just from people's fingernails. Uh, really no wear on the door edges, which is really nice. Just a little area right there. A couple little marks about where the key goes. Uh, the bottom gray area um, is not as shiny as the top. And when it's wet, it doesn't. Ha you'll see some of these streaking, which I think you could probably get in there and buff it out, and especially if you had somebody wet sand it. But it looks great, and when it's wet, or if you do a coat of wax, it's not there for a while, and then after a while, well, you'll kind of see these weird little streaks. But it's still nice and shiny, still looks good. And if you're real particular, you could easily have a body shop to tape it off at the trim and reshoot that uh, gray, or if you want to go silver. Original pinstriping all the way around. Really nice top. The canopy, you know, it's not actually part of the truck. It's an aftermarket deal. It's been on here since new, but it does have a couple areas of clear coating flaking here on both sides and on the top. But again, it's not actually part of the truck. It's kind of a bonus. But if you're not a canopy guy, I will take the canopy off and get rid of it for you. But if you look at all the rubbers, they're nice and soft. But the chrome I wanted to show on the front bumper is kind of the same way. It's still got good reflection, but it has that kind of an aged look to it. You can see the little um, kind of little spot marks. And the bumper, it's really hard to see, but you'll see these little, let's see if I can get, I mean it's hard to show up, but you can kind of see there. It still has good reflection. The black molding on the bottom and along the bumper is a nice shape. Um, but here you go, this is the, the worst of it. it. The bumper doesn't look like this, but it has that aged look to it where you can kind of see on the grill too. This was a, always in a garage or carport, but on the carport uh, with open side was the front, so it got a little bit more sun on it. Oh, and there's some slight scratches right there. A little tree, dried tree sap in there. A couple tiny surface scuffs here, but no rust around the wheel wells. Always had a canopy on it, so there's no loading scratch at the bed sides are just an immaculate condition. Just some couple little tiny marks. But if you look even behind the gas doors, it's in phenomenal shape. You look along here, there's no stone chips. It's just really nice. Take you around the back. Nice looking chrome bumper and a little bit of a n outer nipple on it. He did use it for towing his fishing boat, so it's got some scuffs around here. And that's pretty much all this truck was used for. 
when you look at the interior of the bed, because the uh, canopy was on it since new, look how nice the inside of that thing is. I mean, it rarely ever got used. Definitely didn't haul any type of loads, um, you know, like gravel or dirt or, you know, hay or anything. Uh, the top, the, the canopy, you know, the other hoist is up there, but you can get a pack of these for $15.95 at Napa or Riley's or just right off the bay. They're super cheap. It's a Lear canopy. It's a good quality one. I mean, the tailgate's just immaculate. It does have the wear marks, but again, you could put it one of those nice polished bed caps on there. I mean, look at there's not scuff, scratch, chip, or anything on that. Black plastic's really nice. Couple little marks there. Take you around here to the passenger side. We'll start off with the canopy. Again, nice shine, but again, it's got those clear cut issues. And again, this is just on the canopy, not on the truck itself. We'll take you down the bedside. Looks like something may have slid down and scratched the truck up there. But you can see, I mean, my reflection in this truck. And you know, you can see I'm, I'm quite a few ways away, and this is, you know, a 23 year old truck. And you can see my reflection just perfectly. So it's got really nice, deep, smooth finish. A couple of little hairline scratches. Again, no, no stone chips, no rust. And this is on the actual surface, so it looks like those are looks like the door edges of another vehicle. It's got that, so you could definitely get that off with maybe some goof off. And I'll I didn't even notice that before, so I'll try to get to that also and get that off for you. Little little chip. Again, here you, it's a little bit. You know, it's kind of the grays. I've seen this era of truck, and that had some, unfortunately, that are the factory silver or gray, and they just, the metallics just did not go out as well, you know, this early years at clear coats. So they get real faded. I mean, it's still got shine smooth, but it's just a little bit more faded. And here, it's, you know, kind of uh, just real faded out. Um, but it is the original paint. You can see, you know, hasn't uh, been taped off at the pinstriping. You can't get this pinstriping anymore. Again, all the rubbers are nice throughout. A little ding right there. Uh, please look at the photos at the top. It's just in excellent condition. Rain gutters are nice and clean. We'll finish off the frame. You can see it's got the original front glass as shown before. It's cool old decal of the Amico Motor Club. Oh, and here's the rest of that lifting I was talking about in the back of the hood. But other than that, I mean, the hood looks fantastic. The chip right there. Really nice red. Little tiny stone chip. Stone chip. Just very minor stuff. I mean, this is stuff you'd see on the truck that's, you know, six, seven years old. Inside, really, is, uh, it's crazy to say, it's perfect. It's non smoker, no pets. Not a single mark on this dash anywhere. All original. AC blows cold, heat works good, power windows, locks, all that stuff. It's got the cup holder, which is cool. If you know this area truck, that was an option. You didn't get cup holders, you know. It's got the fold down arm support. Nice looking headrest, sun visors, all these things are just perfect. Door panels, I mean, look how clean the paint is throughout here. I mean, there's no entry marks at all. Clean door jams. Hinge area. It's really cool. It's got the original brochure, 1993. You know, it's a minor detail, but it is just cool to see this stuff stay with the truck for 23 years. It just shows the love and care of the ownership. You know, it's got the original plastic key, the van, you know, the starting instructions, all the manuals, the plastic bag. It's just, I mean, this stuff gets lost quickly with a lot of vehicles. I'll take you around here to the driver's side. And we will do a driving video, so hopefully you guys can stick around to that. Get it a little bit more warmed up. We already did the cold starting. I mean, it's just perfect. Look how clear the gauges are. And the steering wheel is amazing. Uh, you guys know this era of truck, these steering wheels just did not hold up. And I mean, there's no marks. There's no, it's not soft. It's nice and hard. It's not pulling back. No marks from nails or rings. This is just, uh, I was wiping the dash down, so it's just got a little bit of water on it, but that was just from me cleaning her up. We got the lumbar support. Original decal, and again, just very minimal wear marks from entering. I mean, you look at those pedals, just hardly any use. It's got the 302, the 50 fuel injected V8, overdrive transmission. You know, of course, it has power steering, power 
disc brakes, all that stuff of this era. Just squeaky, squeaky clean. Really nice, you know, any of these bolts have never been messed with. You know, if something gets an accident and they go to adjust these fenders out, anytime you put a socket or wrench on these bolts, it chips the paint and it's evident right away. The underside on both sides is just amazingly clean. The underside of the belly, you look under the, the wheel well on both sides, there's no spray paint, cheap undercoating, no dirt, mud. Just a nice original actual overspray. It's crazy to see that after 23 years. But all right, this is our 93 F-150 regular cab long bed XLT going at no reserve.